at Spacecraft, we made it simple to quickly build a website for any type of business. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to create a fitness studio website in under 15 minutes. With Spacecraft, it's easy to integrate with a variety of health and fitness applications. So whether you're using one business management provider or another, Spacecraft is a great fit. To get started, head on over to our templates page on our website at gospacecraft.com forward slash templates. And you can browse all of our templates that make for great starting points in starting your business website. Look around for the templates that work best for your particular business. If you need, you can preview a template by hovering over the particular template and selecting view. When you decide on your template, you pick it by selecting the green choose button. Enter in your details and then hit the green create your account button. In our example, I'm going to name our business Spacecraft Fitness. Type in your own business name, then select the create your website button to enter your website Spacecraft dashboard. The first thing I'm going to do is replace some images that appear in my site's homepage with some of my own images that show off my fitness studio. To replace the images yourself, go to design by selecting it in the top navigation bar. You will see the site's homepage within the preview window. Let's replace one of these images in the hero image gallery. To replace the first image, simply click the gallery block on the page, then click the icon that pops up to select your new image. If you need to upload your image, click into the blue square here and upload. After it's finished uploading, select it by clicking and then hit the Add Images button in the bottom right hand corner of the pop-up to place it in your block. Now that we're here in design, let's go ahead and replace the default logo with your own business's logo and then update the filler text that came with the template. Simply click on the logo in the preview window and you will open the header and logo settings on the right hand side. Use the blue field to upload your own logo. You can change a few settings here if you'd like, then make sure to save everything in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, so I'm sure you noticed all of this text on the site that isn't exactly relevant to your business. So let's edit some text. All you have to do is highlight the unneeded content and type to replace it. As you continue to scroll down, you'll see more filler text areas. You can click into all of these areas, delete, and type in your new content easily. Now that the home page is ready to go, let's input some information about our business in the About Us page. 
While still here in design, click into About Us using your site's navigation menu. You can replace this filler blurb right here by simply highlighting with your cursor, then you can type or paste in your own information. You probably noticed these instructors seen below. You can replace their images by clicking into each item to edit. Drag and drop your images in from your desktop. If you wish to add a bio and name for your instructor, do that here while editing the item. After you're done editing the instructor's details page, click the back button to return to the About Us page. Okay, I'm happy with this page, let's go into content to set up a schedule page with our own business's schedule. Now enter the schedule page that is already included with this template. If you created your widgets in the MindBody branded web tools manager, all you have to do is paste in your widget codes into your MindBody block. Jumping from Spacecraft to the branded web tools manager, we're going to copy a schedule widget embed code so you can paste it into the website. Using the MindBody block already in this page, we simply paste the code in and it starts to pull in your widget's data immediately. If you wish to embed a widget from a different business management provider, simply click the green plus icon to add an HTML block. Paste your embed code into it. Keep in mind, we'll need to press save after you're done adding the code into an HTML block. We also recommend you change the block title right up here so that you can relocate your widget down the line. Block titles aren't seen on the website. It's purely here for your own organizational use. Okay, with your widget added in, this page is good to go live. Head back to the main content area by using back. The map on the contact page needs to be updated with my location, so I need to go update it with my own business address. I'm clicking into the contact page to enter it. You won't see it here in content, but for whatever address you input, the map will show up with a pin for your location on an interactive Google map on the live page. I'll show you that in a moment. Go ahead and type in your own business address into this map in address block. Now scroll up and hit the design this page link to see how the map looks. Check out your map. If it looks good, then that's complete. Since we're here in design, I should edit a few more things on this page. This directions link goes to Google Maps. You can replace this link easily. Just highlight the link and then hit the hyperlink icon that appears. Paste in your own map URL and then hit save to finish. Replace the phone number with your own over here. Now type in your own email address, then highlight and click the hyperlink icon. Replace the email address within the field and click save to finish. You may want to change your page title. You can do that here in design. Just click into the text and type in your change. You'll see how the page title is changed in sync with the navigation menu. Nice, this page is done and we're almost completely finished. Let's head back to the content page again so that you can update the social icons you see in the navigation and footer areas of the site. The social icons seen in the navigation bar are editable in this navigation item, so click into it. You can add more icons from a vast selection we offer you in this drop-down field. Or you can use the current icons chosen by default. In this example, we're just replacing the part of the social media URLs that pertain to your own business but you can retrieve these links from each social media site if you need. Okay, this is done. Now let's change the other icon links, so hit back up here. The social icons in the footer are found over here under global content. 
Here you'll find an identical block just shown a moment ago. Go ahead and update your links or add more icons. Okay, social icons are updated and that's done. Now I want to turn off the pages that I won't be using that came with this template. So head back to the main content section. Click the gear icon on the pages you won't be using or want to use later. Then toggle the visibility option to off. I'm turning off how to join, classes, and blog. Now these pages won't show up on the site when I publish it. If I change my mind later, I can turn the visibility back on and use the pages. Now that the site is pretty much built, you'll need to add a custom domain or subdomain to the site so that people can access the site on the live web. Hit the gear icon next to content and into your site's settings. Select domains. Then select the add subdomain button to choose a .spacecrafted.com subdomain. I'm choosing fitness and saving it. If you own a custom domain and pointed it to our servers, you can add the domain in here as well using its button. Awesome, we're ready to launch it. Let's go ahead and publish the site by clicking the big green publish button in the top right hand corner. We're now done and the site can be accessed at the subdomain we added. Just open a new browser tab and enter in the subdomain. Perfect. We hope this provided you a solid example of just how easy it is to launch a new site on Spacecraft. If you need additional helpful resources, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel and our online support knowledge base. If you have any more questions after watching this video, feel free to reach out to support at GoSpacecraft.com. If you are one of our concierge members, give us a call at 888-534-2183. Thanks for watching.